followed, of course, after that by uh, Moto2 and then Wayne uh, here this morning. But it could just dry out later on in this session. So here in Valencia, meaning lap times or improved lap times will be hard to come by this morning. Maverick, for the moment, the circuit is wet, but the skies are dry. Once there's some rubber down on circuit, will it dry? Well, we continue with this one, and uh, I thought it was genuine and it didn't work out but he tried and yeah uh, alex didn't actually it looks like the honda was strong at aragon do you think that you've improved the bot so you never know fantastic alberto um he's hoping that it will now stay dry for the rest of the weekend the forecast certainly suggests so. some of that water so yeah is there going to be enough time there's not a lot of blue sky cope and content with right now the bombshell news yesterday of course with Yamaha, including team boss massimo merigali have now gone into self-isolation for a mandatory just so you know uh, the registrations close on the 13th of december the in brilliant slow-mo around turn 13 We've seen some great sure, yellow flag infringement because of Danilo Petrucci's crash. Uh, and that in our hotel in downtown Valencia. So, yeah, of course, it's been known about their reliability woes right from the get go. And that Haref double, not the easiest bike to overtake on. And this tight, twisty Valencia circuit, all in a rot. He's been desperate to get back in action to arrest that kind of shot, wasn't it? In good hands, in Garrett Gerloff. What an amazing job Garrett Gerloff did if he wanted to change anything on the bike. And he said, no, I want to ride it with Valentino setting. He thanked everyone in the team continually. And he just said he's Valentino Rossi's been his hero since boyhood, so what a day. Additions for a, a tech update from Simon Cravo, who's been eagle-eyed as always. Simon, what have you spot? That device that disappeared at Aragon. Um, Early stages of this one, we're into the 43s. That's a good 10 seconds plus off where till it was quite warm. Therefore, corners like turn four and turn our camera and picked him up perfectly. Just coming into that long lap, 43.8, and looks like he's set to improve again. Just ahead of him on circuit. Especially in that second session is Takeo Yokoyama, HRC tech director. Of course, the rise to prominence of Alex Marquez. So it's all starting to look a little 15th in the World Championship as a result of missing the last two races in Aragon. He, of course, when he crashed out, hasn't won here. Believe it or not, stood around this Ricardo Tormo circuit. The uh, test rider now for Kato. Just the eight World Championships. <laughs> yeah. uh, to his collection in the 10 year for Jack Miller. No surprise at all to see Jack actually sitting this one out. Quite tricky. He was optimistic though, wasn't he? He said that feels like he's going to be better for not really fully dry in FT2, so very, very little to be learned. And confirmed yesterday, as we expected, he has been talking to Yamaha Vision on where he sees his immediate future line. Uh, Joanne Zarco, who crosses the line and goes to first. It's his best ever result actually riding a Repsol Honda. So uh, in his favour, he said, I wouldn't go as far as to say I'm confident, but I yeah, you can see he just had zero confidence to push problems. You know, Rossi side the box that have been affected as well. So, gee, yeah, and that's the best wet track time lap we've seen of the weekend so far. Jack Argaro in 19th at the moment, which is a bit of a surprise considering his drop off. He said the tyre was hanging in there really, really well. He was super highlighting how deep the competition has been technically wise in 20. <laughs> He's still sitting in his garage here. Kier did ask him actually whether or not he felt like it could give him any extra energy. He went Le Mans and Franco Morbidelli's form of late has been special in this high pressure environment of the last three Grand Prix. It will be Franco Morbidelli. Here is the World Championship leader then, Juan Mir. Eighth place out there trying to blow off a few of the cobwebs and just getting easing into places and time that they uh, had to recover after the mistake by Rossi. Yeah, you really felt like that was a golden chance to break ticks again this morning, thanks to a 42-5-3-4. The risk of he has to isolate and miss this group. And find some sort of setting to improve. At the moment, in 19th place at the final corner. You just see there, there you go. It just like the Caddy team. Jack Miller topping both sessions. It looks like Andrea Divic. What, what are you working on? It's not really useful, but uh, even uh, I'm curious why that is. <laughs> because we are making some tests. He's is at the moment with, what, just under 23 minutes left. I thought, crikey, it's going to be uh, very wet on the way to the circuit. Then we he did see some dry. It just gets it a little bit unsettled on the brakes, on the wet conditions the weekend. And where will this man be when the final reckoning cuts him right in the championship hunt? And that's why, with three to go, he leads Fabio Quattro. That would be the worry, Steve, at the moment. In these conditions, it's not the f five seconds after the green light goes on at the end of pit lane as well. It is. We've seen him struggling 
I think he said yesterday he looked pretty damn beat. Good session so far for this man, Joe Anzarco, on the Ducati G. Great first day it was here in Valencia for Jack Miller. Quick in the wet conditions. Thanks. Yeah, pretty much. Um, we've got the... Jack, thanks for explaining. That really makes sense about tyre I went out again and the wind and it started drying a little bit. I did a 42-0 the ice skating ring, you know, so... Um, the biggest issue is Jack, thank you for your time at such a, an important time. Really appreciate it. As Juan Mir looks to improve his lap, here comes the number 36 across the line into it. And now we go back to Zarko, who's not far away from beating his best time. All going to be as well, Matt, because it, it, it may well be the only particular, not a lot of time to assess slick tyres so far here. The Juan Mir leading Maverick Vinales. Davide Brivio looks, to be honest. So that's why Mir was content just to actually with uh, Vinales tracking him, both of them on the medium. Another lap, there's another good lap coming in from Joe Anzarco. Mir might lift himself. Unlikely now he will improve on that 41. 1-1. One, one. Knows what's going to happen over the winter. Let's keep our fingers crossed that we can run. Dream and hope about some semblance of normality. I think everybody around the world. What we do know is that behind the scenes... You know what, it is so strange that... It, it's not clearly just a Yamaha be that little bit smoother a little bit calmer but it doesn't seem conditions. to be a problem for Thomas Vargas because he's just way way off the pace well I'm sure Simon can concur that changes he's requesting change the team have got ideas they'll have set up in Simon yeah guys I gather you saw the same as I did uh, change the situation is to me it goes gravel tracking bad news that came his way yesterday the pit lane start and then some of his going to go into self-isolation the World Championship is slipping through his fingers and there's nothing that... There will be no riders changing uh, starts from pit lane anyway. Crutchlow, Oliveira, Bradle, Banyaya, Alex Mar All rain in the uh, time that the MotoGP riders are now. So back of the field. Shout out to uh, Lorenzo Salvador as well on the Aprilia map. Young man who's uh, applied his trade in World Super Bowl. A decent lap that could put him into P1. He was really frustrated. In fact, he goes second too much. They weren't too much of a trouble for him riding here yesterday i asked him over eight tenths now so happy days or happy life from the frenchman puts him back in p1 so another good but no official confirmation about the second seat in that uh, after he's been declared unfit you'll get more news on that from matt and neil and a overload basically both ties from the rear so they get a little bit too hot and then they miss and, and have uh, the good pace but uh, in wet condition also the bike being down Zarko trying to consolidate his position uh, and we have been wrong quite a few times in this country box so far. This positive end for Peco Bagno, a sponsor of Racing Ducati. Positive uh, skin then. Simon Crayfire just reported from pit lane that Lorenzo seemed to be uh, carrying Miller. Quickest on the combined standings after that uh, dry ish has uh, set a, an improved lap time yesterday. Well, it wasn't improved, was he? He was missing. Vinales, who's going through the middle a little bit right now with problems both on.